Hi, this is going to be a little video on the Dinar TMJ model and how this works and I show this to every single TMJ patient that comes to my practice or any patient that's a bite patient that has bite issues. Basically we all know that this is the TMJ, the condyle here, the black dots is the center the green is the cartilage, this is the retrodiscal area obviously, this is the ear, the ear hole, and these are the muscles. Okay? And what we have in here now is, is the jig that says normal. And when you have the normal jig in and you open and close, the lower teeth fit beautifully into the upper teeth and all the TMJ apparatus and muscles move very smoothly and there's nothing degenerative happening. So what I do with every patient is I take out the normal and I put in the posterior bite interference jig. And you can see when this touches with the posterior teeth hitting first, you can still see the TMJ apparatus is in the same healthy position. But what happens is, if you're going to close on your, on your natural arc and the posterior teeth can hit first, that's how you break teeth and that's going to cause a lot of pain for you. And neurologically, your brain doesn't want anyone, doesn't want Marty, this is me, to have any pain and discomfort and bang teeth like this. So what it does is, a message is sent to the muscles to move because the brain knows where your teeth are and where the custom fossas are. So it, as you're going to close, it says, uh oh, the teeth aren't on an arc. So the muscles quickly move your whole lower jaw, obviously, and with the teeth, so it fits together smoothly. But now, when that fits together, if we look back here at the TMJ apparatus, look what's happened. The dot's not centered anymore, the condyle's pushed backwards, and the cartilage is loose now. It's not being braced as it was. And so what I tell the patient, what we're going to do is, we need to get this TMJ apparatus here back to its normal position, and it's the teeth forcing it out of place. So what we're going to do is, once we finish our diagnostic process, we're going to make you a bite appliance of some sort. And we're going to put that in and get the apparatus here, the TMJ apparatus, back to all its natural anatomic position as possible. And the more damage you have in that area from the length of time you've had this TMJ issue or this bite issue and the damage it's going to cause, it does limit us to some degree. But in 85 to 90% of, 85 to 95% of the patients we treat, we get an excellent result and the patient is extremely happy. And and then I show them it's going to be upper. It's going to be an upper appliance. So I hold the upper appliance in place, and then I show that now with the appliance in place and the lower jaw moving, everything is moving on a nice, healthy, stable arc. There are no interferences, and the uh, condyle TMJ area is now in a much healthier position, and the healing can start happening. And the fluids and the cartilage can reposition, the fluids can be taken out of your body, inflammation starts going down. And it's a process. And in most instances, it's 15, 20, 25 visits with the appliance and adjusting the upper appliance. Because they can come in the first, few, first visit and you adjust the appliance so everything f arcs in, everything feels really nice, all the marks are in the right places with the articulating paper. But what, what happens up here? As this starts healing and the fluids start getting removed from the uh, from the, uh, the, the TMJ region and inflammation starts, starts shrinking, well, the bone is, the condyle is not going to move and change position. Well, if the condyle changes position here, it has an effect on the whole jaw, which is the lower teeth and how they meet the upper appliance. So as you get healing, the jaw is going to move. And that's why there are so many adjustment visits. And when the patient comes back, you know, how does the appliance feel? Well, I'm hitting on the right, I'm hitting on the left. And that's good, because when they left, it was even. And now they have an issue with this, they have interferences, and they know something isn't right. Well, that's the healing process, is allowing the jaw to move, and now the teeth are hitting 
the appliance in a different position than you first set it. And then you have to keep adjusting the appliance, like I said, 15, 20, 25 visits until the patient is stable. Let's try not to forget that most people, their TMJ issues or bite issues haven't been for a week, a week and a half. It's 10, 15, 20 years in a lot of instances. And you don't get that healing and the resolution after one or two visits of adjusting an appliance. It takes weeks and months to have that done. So this is the Dinar model. It's a great resource, educational resource for the patient. And uh, it, it, it explains and it shows where we are and where we're, where we're trying to go and how we're going to do it.